pixels are something like this which you can see onto my screen so here you can see we are getting the drop down so whatever data we want we can just click onto these options which are present here and we can just get the data into just a single click and we can remove all the filters also from here so let us say i want to get the data for the month of june so i will just click on to june and we'll get the data for 2021 so you can see how easy it is to just apply the filter from these drop downs and this button so let us see how to create this everyone welcome to excel problem solving series so we have very interesting problem for today so you can see the data from column a to d which i have onto my screen here and i have three problem sets here so i want to get the data for the month april the day should be monday and the year should be 2020 so let's see how to do this so for this i'll be applying the filter condition here so the month is april so i would just filter out the data for april month and the day is monday so i would filter out the data for monday and the year is 2020 I would just filter out the data for 2020. You can see the number of steps which I took here to do this process. Similarly, let us get the data for the month of April. So I would just remove the filter. I would again apply the filter yes, and I want to take the data for the month of April. So I would just apply the filter for April. So you can see I've got the data. Now what if I want to get the data for 2021? So I would just apply the filter here onto 2021. So you can see how many steps we are taking here to just to get the filter out data. What if we can reduce this? So friends, we'll see into this video. It is known as slicers so first of all i have my data set here so we need to create a table here so to create the table i would just do a simple control plus t and then i would click ok so you can see the table has been created now you can see into the table design i have the option here known as insert slicer and i would click on to all these columns on which i want to create the slicer and then i would click on to ok so you can see the slicers has been created i would just shorten these all these a bit so let us do the same task which we had done earlier using the filters function into excel using the slicers so we need to filter out the data for april month for monday for 2020 so you can see how easy it is to filter out the data like this instead of going and using the filter friends i hope you have found this video very much helpful if you have found this video useful do like this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't received such kind of useful information on a daily basis in the next video thank you so much bye